Y'all, it's finally here. <laughs> Guys, I have waited months for this guitar and I finally got it together, ready to show you. My name is Zach and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about my process of building this parts caster, how you can do it too, uh, and then we're gonna run through some sound samples of these pickups, the Lambertone Blondies, and just how this guitar sounds overall. So stay tuned, let's get started. First and foremost, we've got that gorgeous shell pink body. Uh, it's gonna be made from alder. The entire guitar weighs in just under eight pounds. I've got a solid parchment F-hole tele pick guard, which is unique. And then a contoured neck heel, modern Godot bridge, a four-way tele switch from 920D, and then, of course, the Lambertone Blondies pickups with an open grill in the neck, and then it's got a unique staggered position in the bridge. All right, so let's move on to my favorite part of this entire build, and that's going to be that gorgeous flame roasted maple neck. I actually ordered this from Park Lane Guitars, which I know probably a lot of people watching this video maybe haven't heard of them. I hadn't either before I started this parts caster process, and let me tell you, I am so glad I decided to go that route. Um, originally, I was looking at ordering from either Warmoth, Music Craft, USA CG, um, or finding something kind of along those lines, and I just felt like bang for your buck, it wasn't what I was looking for. Um, so I saw a ton of positive reviews on some parts caster and Warmoth build uh, Facebook groups where Park Lane Guitar or Steve, who owns it, just does absolutely incredible work. Um, I believe he used to be one of the people that worked at Music Craft. Um, so he absolutely knows what he is doing. I'm incredibly picky about my guitar necks and ordered from him. And again, so happy that I did. Now I want to run through the specs and then what I decided to do with the neck as well. For right around $415, I was able to get that gorgeous flame roasted maple C-shaped neck with a dark rosewood fretboard. I ended up putting a tusk nut in there. It has a 10 to 14 inch compound radius, stainless steel 6105 frets, heavy rolled fret edges, which is probably my favorite part about this neck. I hate the feeling of going down the neck and feeling the frets, so this is super comfortable. And then lastly, Godo uh, staggered locking tuners, which then prevents me from having to have a string tree at the top of my neck. If you've watched my other videos, you guys know how picky I am about my guitar necks. And the fact that I received this guitar, again, without really knowing what I was gonna get, and adding it as part of my parts caster build, I am just blown away by the quality. All right, now I wanna talk through the process and step-by-step step what I did to build this guitar. Research. If you've ever thought about building your own guitar or have built your own guitar, you know there is a tremendous amount of research that goes into knowing what parts that you're going to end up needing, where are you going to order it from, how are you gonna stay within budget. I ended up finding a spreadsheet online from Performer Mag that I will drop down in the description uh, it's available for free. That's what I use to help kind of track my progress and what pieces I had ordered, hadn't ordered, the prices of each of those, um, links where they were found. I ended up adding a couple of additional uh, tabs inside of my budget as well or my spreadsheet where I tracked specifically if I went over budget or under budget. Uh, and it was super straightforward process, but it made sure I didn't miss anything with the next step, which is ordering everything. This was honestly the worst and best part of the whole process. And what I mean by that is everything is so back ordered right now, it is just absolutely insane. So I started the process of just ordering everything, like I said, probably four months ago, five months ago, and it is just now more recently coming in. So I believe Warmoth, which is where I got the body from, that was a 14 week, almost 15 week waiting time. And then you've got uh, Park Lane Guitars, which was a much faster waiting time. It was eight weeks. Either way, it felt like an eternity, but I guess in hindsight or in comparison, it's a heck of a lot faster than if I were to go through a custom builder and wait a whole year to get that process completed. Now, one final point when it does come to ordering everything, 
like I said earlier, I used that spreadsheet to track what I did and did not order. That way I was able to make sure I didn't miss anything. There's a lot of tiny details that you need when building a guitar, individual screws, right? The washers for when you install the strap holders, little stuff that if you're not thinking about it, you'll miss. So make sure to mark it on the spreadsheet. And the last step is simply assembling everything. Now this step can be a little daunting, but it is pretty exciting. You've got everything together. Now you just want it all together right now, built, ready to play. This was honestly my first full build. Now I know at the beginning I said this was my first parts caster. I did make an attempt probably about a year and a half ago uh, and just decided halfway through I was just gonna sell off the pieces I had and then buy my other Sir, my JM Pro. This is my first completed build. And with that comes drilling into a perfectly good body, getting everything set up, getting your pickups where you want them. There's quite a bit that comes with this assembly. So my tips for this section, I've got a few of them and I'll go ahead and kind of break them down in three different points here. The first point is going to be drilling into the body and how to do that without chipping the finish. So it's actually pretty easy. What I did is I started with the drill in reverse get an impression made into the body. This allows the drill bit to go with the paint rather than against the paint. And then when you flip it and you go normal direction, I don't know what that's called, <laughs> um, and drill into the body, you've already made an impression and then it's less likely to pull up the paint and chip the body. So that's my first tip. The second tip is to take your time. I cannot stress this enough. I did have an accident where I got too eager, my screwdriver missed one of the screws and I dinged the back of the body. Gave it a little love dent, it's fine. I was mad about it when it happened, but it's cool now. <laughs> Just gives it character, but that was a reckless mistake made by me because I was just too eager. So take your time, think things through, right? Measure twice, cut once like they say, hypothetically speaking, don't cut up your guitar. The idea though is just take your time with your measurements, where you want things, then drill into the body, then screw things in. It'll be a much easier, better process if you do that. And for my final tip, I just wanna tell you that it probably won't be perfect. And that's okay. <laughs> I found myself obsessing over every tiny little detail within this guitar while I was building it. But realistically, that's not something I would have done if I would have just bought this guitar from a store. I would have played it, I would have picked it up, I would have felt how it uh, felt it, the neck, felt the guitar, listened to how it sounded, and I would have said, yes, I like this guitar, no I don't, and decide from there. But in this case, I looked at every tiny little detail. Was a screw drilled in all the way? Was it just a little off center? If it's not perfect, that is okay. I've talked through all of my practical tips and tricks and my recommendations when building the body. Now let's hear how this guitar actually sounds. Thank you. 
away by how articulate these Telecaster pickups are. They still have that spank and twang that you would expect from a Tele, but cut so nicely right in the middle of the mix. So stay tuned for future content, everybody. I am planning to make a video where I just specifically review the pickups that are inside of this guitar. Please like, subscribe. I am going to drop all of the links to my purchase and to the different parts caster pieces that I ordered, um, the spreadsheet, like I mentioned earlier, down in the description below. So if you're looking for a guide, feel free to comment, ask questions, or check out those links. And like I said, stay tuned, subscribe, that way you can check out future content. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a good day.